Hello, hello, welcome, good afternoon, or good morning, wherever you're located. I hope you're having an amazing day so far. Today's video is going to be moss pole chores, uh, extensions. I'm not doing any chops. Uh, it's just gonna be some moss pole maintenance that I am long, long overdue for. I do have some pulled chops coming up, but I'm gonna delay it a little bit longer. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I will have some pulled chops to do, uh, at least at least two to three pulled chops coming up. So uh, yeah, I'm trying to prepare myself for that mentally because yeah, it takes a lot of effort sometimes. So I am gonna start right here, but I hope you guys enjoy and can learn something more about my moss poles and maintenance and care and extensions and all that. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up for me, leave me a comment down below, and then let's get to it. Look at little cutie pie sleeping down there. That star, she loves that little bed. I'm surprised she's not outside with the rest of the cats. Before I go and grab all of my supplies, I am going to just take a peek into my plant room and see how many pulls uh, I'm thinking about doing. I need like an idea in my head. I haven't decided if I am gonna be chopping my Glorious yet. I haven't chopped it, uh, this one here on the right beside my Marble Queen. Uh, it is reaching the top, but I could probably delay that one a few weeks or I could just add like a foot extension. So that one is up in the air. My splinted I chopped a few months ago and it's climbing so fast. I already have another new leaf pushing out. I definitely need to add an extension on the Escoletto. I'm going to try and do a fourth thickly layer, the large one. So that is a definite. Um, so one large thickly. I do believe I want to chop my Adansonii soon. I'm not going to try and add like another extension on that one. It's just getting so big up top and it's kind of sparse here on the bottom. Uh, so I want to like reconfigure that pull. So that one I'll probably chop as like my next pull chop. And then Cebu Blue, I was going to try and add a foot extension, although it is already going to be halfway up that extension. Uh, but I'm not ready to chop that one just yet, I don't think. So I'm gonna try for like a foot extension on that one. We need a couple small thick leaves because the Enjoy Pearls and Jade is way growing off. Yes, what? You want your cuddles? You just want cuddles all the time, don't you? I love you. <laughs> She's so cute. I do have some holes in my cabinet. Uh, yes, I just did the Majestic um, not that long ago, but if I do extend it, I'm gonna have to take it out of my cabinet and I'm not ready yet, so I'm gonna hold off on that one. I'm gonna hold off on the White Knight as well a little bit longer. This one, I probably need to extend one on. That's a small, that's a silver sword. So I might have to do that one today. Now, a lot of these poles up here are reaching the top. These three just need some moss. I don't need to extend those, but I have two there that need an extension. And I think that's really it. I, I do think I wanna chop that variegated micans too. And I think that one can hold off a little bit longer. I actually might go get a notebook and write this down because I know I'm gonna forget <laughs> in my head. You're so cute. She's staring at me on the table. I know. <laughs> so I'm gonna grab my thickly poles. I hope I have enough. I honestly haven't checked my supply in a while. I probably need to order some more. Uh, I'm gonna grab my wire pole supplies, my sphagnum moss, water, wire cutter, zip ties, all that. And then I am going to make all of my stuff out there so that I'm not making a mess in here. And then I will start grabbing the poles and we'll do some extensions and stuff together. I probably won't film them all with you, all the extensions, but I, I'll try to record what I can. And I forgot about these poles, so I need to do a three foot extension onto that one. And I might have to do another extension on the neon. <laughs> and I got to fill it with moss. I didn't even think about these ones. So I added more pull stuff to my list. 
See, if I do one more three foot, foot extension for that one, I'm only gonna be down to that much moss for all the thickly ones. So I might not be able to do them all today. I'm gonna try and do, go down the line to like the ones that need it the most. Um, I made a little list out, uh, ignore my chicken scratch. Uh, so a full wire, my golden I'm gonna do in Campo, and then half a wire, definitely my Cebu, and I might do Splendid or Glorious, but I might not if I don't have enough moss today. The only small one that I need is for my Silver Sword, and my Enjoy, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a small extension because I don't have enough medium to go around. I have enough medium to extend all these guys, uh, and then the only large I need is for the Escaletto, and then I have to top off these ones with moss. So yeah, I'm just gonna go and cross these off as I do them, whichever one, you know, needs it the most. And I got my, you know, my wire netting there. I have all of my thickly poles. This is pretty much going to exhaust all of my thickly collection, so I need to place an order. And I have my tape, Velcro, zip ties, shears, wire cutters, some pins, everything that I need. I think, and then I um, and I have my water here, and I brought out this bin. I'm gonna start filling up and adding uh, my moss into there. I think I will start with my Enjoy because that one is long overdue the most. <laughs> um, I might do some thickly ones first and then go move on to my wire. So my Cebu Blue that really needs it, um, it's gonna have to hold off a little bit. Uh, I am making my wire pulls today. I just, I think I want to get through some thickly ones first. Uh, and then we'll see how much moss I have left over. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna soak some moss and have that ready to go. All right, so I brought the Enjoy. It is very thirsty. I need to water this entire thing. So this is the one that is definitely, I feel like the most <laughs> severe as far as needing an upsize goes. So I figured I would like to use my table. So let me move you guys so that uh, we have some room to work with. I'm actually gonna use these little table cushions here, Ugh. table chairs as like my workspace so that I'm clear. So I have two uh, small thick leaves here, but I'll just do this first one with you just uh, to give you an idea. And then the rest I'll just build on my own. Uh, I was gonna try and do a small or a medium, but again, I was like out of medium. So the Enjoy already is on two small thick leaves. So I think I can get away with doing two more because by the time they're pretty short and by the time I slide one over the other one, it's really only gonna be like that tall. And then after that, I might consider like going ahead and chopping this one and maybe do like a medium extension on top of that one. Yeah, I wish I didn't do the small for this one. I wasn't thinking very clearly, but that is okay. I'm really excited to start using the liquid fertilizer. I checked my Amazon and it said I could get it as late as 10 4 which is another uh like two weeks which is kind of crazy i thought it was only going to take a week i guess i didn't pay attention when i ordered it like on the shipping details for some reason i saw on amazon and i just assumed it would have been like the normal two-day shipping and yeah that wasn't the case just so cute and easy. I probably packed this one a little too full, but that's okay. So before I do the second layer, let me go ahead and add the first one on. Let's see. You can see how much it's extended off the pole, all those aerial roots. So all we're gonna do is, again, you wanna find the soil flaps, which these little pieces here, you want this on the bottom when you're adding the extension. And you just go on the inside here. 
Sometimes you have to add a little bit of moss in the bottom one uh, to fill it all the way. But if you let the plant grow up too high, sometimes the node is blocking it, but you wanna push it down until you can actually press the flap into the soil flap. The smalls are harder to do because there's just such a tiny little flap. Not as easy to push in here. There we go. Using something sharp, my finger wasn't cutting it, but did you hear how I pushed that in there? Let's do the other side. On the medium, the flap is a little bit bigger here, uh, but I can't push it in with my finger. So I'm just taking my shears and just like pressing it in. I think that got in there. Yeah, these small ones are not as friendly to extend. <laughs> okay, how wobbly are we with three? I think I could get away with adding that fourth layer like I was saying. So the vine is already at the top of this one, so I'm definitely gonna have to add that next layer. And this one, I, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill it all the way, because it's a small grow pole. I might as well just fill it to the top. Okay, so this is four thick leaves now with the Enjoy right here. Pearls and Jade. <laughs> so now all I have to do is secure the vine on here and now it has a lot more room to climb. I'm just gonna anchor the vine onto the pole now, now that we've extended it. I think I'm probably just gonna end up using the grafting tape, it's what I like the best. It's just like saran wrap to really anchor the node against the pole. Let's see. Especially since it's climbed for a while off the pole, I really want those nodes like right, right, right up against it. So I'm just using this to, uh, yeah, just wrap and I'm just going super tight with this stuff. And once it actually roots in, you can remove this. I like to wrap it a few times because sometimes it doesn't always stick on to itself or sometimes you can even put like a little piece of tape back here to really secure it so that it doesn't lift up because sometimes this lifts up. So that node right here, it really got anchored against the moss and that's gonna help trap in moisture as well. So uh, it's gonna help the aerial roots grow. So all these little nodes, I'm gonna do the same thing with In each spot, just really press it against there. And before you tape it, you wanna like reposition the vine too to make sure that it's in the spot that you want it. Uh, like whether it's in the center of the pole. Once the vine starts growing 
thicker, it's hard to move it. Like my Marble Queen, it's really hard to move the vine. So you have to do it before it starts growing. You want to make sure that you're you're keeping it center. Okay, so for the very top one, I am just going to anchor it since it hasn't pushed a new leaf yet. I'm just going to anchor it with a little clip because uh, it can still fit around the vine. It's not super thick yet, just to kind of help hold it there. And then once it starts growing again, so since this was growing off the pole, the leaves are a little misshapen. They look a little weird, but once it starts growing and facing towards my grow light, it's gonna start like repositioning itself. So it's gonna look weird a little bit right now. So yeah, she is extended. So we have four small thick leaves. I'll pan you away so you can see her in full. I'm gonna take her to my sink though and give the rest of the pole a good drink. And um, yeah, I don't have any mites, so I don't have to like worry about showering them off or anything because I just put beneficial mites on my plant, so I don't wanna ruin or shower off any mites. And I don't really put mites on my Pothos Epipremnum varieties because they don't ever catch any pests, <laughs> which is why I love them. This is what she's looking like. I'll kind of back out here. See how tall it is. I have lots of room now. And you can see where I secured with the grafting tape around each node. And then I put a clip on the top one. And so this plant, like I said, does have three vines, but with a lot of my poles, one vine grows like way ahead of the rest. But the other two vines are actually growing at a steady pace. You can see there's three in there. So I have one off to the side here that I just have to make sure kind of gets anchored to the pole. And then uh, the other one's in the middle. So the one that's growing the biggest, it's kind of like wrapped around. Uh, but yeah, it has definitely grown the quickest. So yeah, the leaves will straighten back out in some time here once it gets back in front of my grow light and it should hopefully start sizing up again soon. I don't like to let them get this far off the pole because the leaves will start to size down uh, and that's not the goal of the moss pole. You want the leaves to keep sizing up so they just need to anchor in to some support uh, to get them growing again. Hi, you come to join us now? <laughs> Hopefully she doesn't get in my way. So next up is Sorderoy. Definitely needs an extension because this is like one of my favorite philodendron and I don't want it to climb off the pole or anything. It's in a small pot. It's just in a heavy ceramic. I need to get or find a ceramic that actually fits this one because yeah, it's going to tip over. I need to get something soon. Uh, but I pre-made a medium pole. This is just their normal like 2.0. Uh, yeah, and we'll just add the extension on. I didn't need to fill it all the way up to the top because I feel like the spacing on this one, the internodal spacing is pretty good. Uh, if it does start to grow longer, then it could be wanting more light or uh, lacking some nutrients, but we'll add the extension and then I might see if I, can, if I have a cash pot that fits this one because yeah, this one is clearly too big. So this one I do have mites on, so I'm not gonna shower this one off, I'll just use my water and water this pole, but yeah, this is another one that's completely dry. So for the medium extension, yeah, we just conduct it like the other one. Let's see. So 
So it just goes in the inside. You really want to extend them before the node attaches, the last node, which is uh, this new big leaf coming out. That's going to be a huge leaf. Do you see that big mama right there? <laughs> That's huge. So you really want to slide this down. Uh, yeah, it's really hard to show you because the leaves are all over the place. Because once this node starts growing in, you can't like slide this down over it on the inside because th then it's going to root in there and then you can't slide this down because the roots are in the way on the inside. So you, you really want to extend them before it grows to get like that. Uh, but this one didn't attach in there yet, so we're good. And sometimes you may have to add a little bit of moss in here. It really just depends on where the pole is when you slide it down, but you can kind of like stick your finger down in here and just mess with the moss and play around with it. But I think that's good. I don't see any gaps. These flaps are a lot easier to close when you press because it's bigger. See, they're just so much easier than the small. And just like that, it's connected. All right, this cash pot might be okay for a little bit longer. <laughs> and so what we're gonna do now is, since this vine is kind of growing, I don't know if you can notice, it's growing to the right a little bit uh, this way. I'm gonna try, since this one isn't anchored in yet, I'm gonna try and center it back to the right and the butterfly clip is too small for the vine. The vine is getting pretty thick already. So I'm gonna use some elastic for this top node. Once you do these like several times, it becomes so easy, it just becomes second nature. I can do this in no time when I actually, like I'm not filming and stuff and worrying about, about that aspect of it. I can get these extended and done in no time. Okay, so you see what I did there? I brought it a little bit in so that it's kind of growing back towards the center. And that's the node that will root in there. And that's the huge leaf that's getting ready to come out. Let me back away so that you can see. So that's what she's looking like now. Lots more room to climb. I didn't have to add the moss all the way that full, but I guess I just got carried away with it, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, looking good. So she is dry from like here down. So I'm gonna just use my water bottle and water the moss. Um, I don't wanna shower the leaves because again, I just put the mites on. And then the soil is dry too, so I'll water uh, the soil as well. Luna's trying to eat my string from the moss. <laughs> you can't have that, cutie. <laughs>
clearly I am way behind on this one. Can you see? <laughs> the last note is here and I have like no moss in here. I'm just gonna fill this one all the way up to the top. My neon here is starting to size up a little even though it wasn't growing into moss yet. I just filled it up to here. But the last note is here, which means um, I probably should extend it. Uh, I don't know. I started my neon the same time as I started my uh, Marble Queen. And I have three vines, I think. It's just so slow. But this top vine is finally starting to grow. I would hate to cut it already. Maybe I'll do one, go ahead and extend it, and then I'll probably chop it at that point. Because that would be really, it would be silly, right, not to go ahead and extend that. I'm, I think I'm just trying to be lazy and not extend it right now, but it really does need to be extended too. Okay, let me find, uh, one more thickly pull and get this one extended. This is all just the three. So I think I might have one more three uh, left. So I might go ahead and grab one of those. I just made a 3.0 pull up. Uh, I just filled it to like here with moss. So I'm gonna slide this uh, in here and we'll ex go ahead and extend this one. Boom, it's that easy, literally that easy. It's so nice. And we're done. I just have to water her bottom. I definitely could have added more moss, but it'll be, if you can see, it'll be okay uh, for now. Yeah, I'll just water her bottom half. Uh, soil is still a little bit moist, but I'll just give the bottom part of the pole a quick drink. Um, yeah, I am so glad that I do have these thickly ones because, yeah, I couldn't imagine trying to do wire for all these. I, I will be doing my 40th moss pole. I couldn't imagine having 40, uh, wire poles. That's crazy. 40 is a lot of poles. That is a heck of a lot of moss poles. Uh, yeah, that's a lot. I didn't realize how many I had, but that's a lot of poles. When I say that number, it really like puts into perspective how many that actually is. Yeah, I don't plan on, after the golden, I really honestly don't plan on doing that many more moss poles because yeah, I've kind of reached my limit, I feel like on the moss poles. Um, yeah, I don't know if I would ever take any of them off a pole, but we'll see, uh, you know, what I end up doing with some of them. Uh, but yeah, I do love the big leaves and climbing plants up a moss pole, so I just enjoy it. Uh, but they are a lot of work though. I just want to show you, I went ahead and did my silver sword really quick. This is one that was in my Ikea cabinet. It's a small grow pole right there. So, and I added a piece of plastic wrap here because uh, some philodendrons, and I added one down here too, their nodes are really stubborn and they don't root into the moss. Uh, so this really helps like anchor them against it and helps them root. So if you find that your plant 
isn't rooting and it's against the pole, try wrapping the plastic wrap around the nodes. It really does help. Uh, this one isn't my favorite plant. Um, it tends to yellow a lot. And my other one, this was two nodes that I had from my original plant that I don't have anymore because it completely yellowed. So I chopped it all the way back and saved what I could. Uh, even though it's pretty, it's definitely not a favorite. So I might end up getting rid of this one, but we'll see. Uh, so yeah, just a small grow pole and I'm gonna stick this one back in my Ikea cabinet. That should still fit in there because it's a small. And then I checked my Amedrium. I thought it needed an extension, but the top leaves were at the top of the pole, but the node is still like way down, like where my thumb is, where the top of the pole is. So I don't have to extend that one yet. Thank goodness. <laughs> so I only have a few more thickly ones to check and then my big Esqueleto and then, yeah, I'll be on to making some wire poles and we'll extend our Cebu Blue definitely uh, and decide from there what we wanna do. I might just extend the Cebu Blue and then I'm gonna have to think about what I wanna do with the Splendid and um, Glorious, I'm not sure yet. Let me move her here so that you can see a little bit better. Okay, Manjula. I always wanted a mandula on a moss pole and the only thing that mine is doing that I don't like is you can see that it's doing this weird variegation like this leaf is pretty big but it's all green and then it does a variegated one and then like this whole left side is all green and I don't like it it's really bugging me I was just gonna do an extension but I think I might go ahead and chop so I have two other vines on here or four I think I have four total. And so these other small ones haven't really caught up yet. And so they might not catch up by the time like I go to extend this plant again. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna chop this in two spots like I did with my global green that I'll show you. I did talk about this in another uh, video. I think I might chop it like maybe here and then maybe like here. But the only thing that I have to be really careful is not to let the pole dry out because when I do that, that takes away the root system. So if I let the pole go dry, whatever is rooted in here won't grow <laughs> or won't uh, get any water. So it's gonna get really droopy and sad. Uh, I might do that before I go to extend it um, just to see how it does uh, and go from there. And I hate to do this to this plant now. It's been on a pole for, since the beginning of the year. I think I put this one on a pole in December. So it's taken that long to actually like get to this point. But again, I know this growth pattern that it's doing is bugging me. And if anything, you know, say, if I do cut it here and it continues to grow fine, I can always take this top chunk out and start it on a new pole. Uh, you know, I can still, have it grow. If for some reason the growth like turns green or something happens, I can just like redo it if I have to. Uh, but this is the decision I'm gonna make for this one right now. So uh, I'm trying to see where the node is, where it will grow. So this one, if I cut here, there's like a node right here on the vine that it would push out on the variegated side. So I'm gonna cut here, right there. It's done. <laughs> and so the node right here will grow variegated. So variegated growth will grow. So now I do wanna chop it again. I think I might take a chance, you guys, and cut here. I don't wanna cut on this one cause I just cut below and that node is on the green side. So if I cut here, the node will be on the variegated side again and it will reroute growth. All right, she's cut in two spots. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna see what happens. I don't know if I made the right decision or not. Sometimes you just have to do in your gut what you feel you need to do. Cross a manjula. So we didn't extend, we just we just did a chop technically. I brought the variegated heart leaf out 
Let me see if I can show you some of the top leaves. Isn't this beautiful? Such a gorgeous plant. I got this out of a cutting back in the day, chopped and propped it many times. It's been growing on a pole for a while though. It's gorgeous. I have several vines in here and it goes all the way down. You can see at the bottom they're a little bit smaller. And then as it climbed, it got a little bit bigger. It hasn't sized up significantly, I would say, but uh, yeah, I love it so much. <laughs> it's clearly at the top and needs an extension. So uh, I have one 3.0 left. This is the last one. And I wanted to use this one specifically because this is probably one that I will end up chopping and propping for my plant shop whenever it's up and running. I was thinking about the shop and a lot of the plants I'm gonna be putting on there is gonna be from my own collection. I'm just gonna start slowly. I'll probably end up propping a lot of my plants because they have grown a little bit wild and they need a haircut, a lot of them. So this is probably one that I will end up chopping. And the good thing about them being in a pole is that they're already rooted. So it wouldn't take them that long once I do chop them to actually like have them available. Cause I'm very particular about that. I want, I'm not gonna sell like cuttings. Everything is gonna be rooted and growing. I just want, people to be happy with their purchases. So, uh, yeah. Um, but it's going to be fun though. I'm excited to have an online shop up and running. I'm excited to downsize a little bit, or maybe just cut some of my plants back. And those that really maybe are looking for something, if it's a plant that I have and someone's been looking for it, maybe it's something I could prop in the future and get it up on the site. So yeah, what I was saying with the three is that since these open from the front, I can easily lift these open and like pull it out. So uh, it'll be easier to prop some of these guys. So I'm just gonna stick this one right up on top here. Um, oh. Slide it down. And just like that, we are extended. Seriously, so easy. <laughs> I just have to anchor these top couple of nodes on. Just gonna use a couple clips. See, so easy, it's already done. I could have added a little bit more moss, uh, but that's okay, that's all I'm gonna do for right now. And I just took a pen to pin the top vines closer to the moss, and then I'll just water the bottom section. So this is now three thickly, and it's standing up on its own. Three is very sturdy for the thickly poles. It's when you start adding four that it becomes a little unsteady, but still doable. Uh, I haven't had to do five yet, but five is definitely going to become unsteady. <laughs> um, but yeah, she should be able to grow up in here for a while. And like I said, I'm eventually going to probably cut this one back um, to propagate because although I love my moss pole plants and having them big and having them grow, I do love that like aspect and part of it, but I also like don't need six foot moss poles of every single plant in my collection, you know what I mean? Uh, I would be happy with a small plant of a variegated heart leaf, as long as it's something I can look at and enjoy and love for myself. Um, I don't have to have my plants be like overgrown and unmanicured just to have the plant keep growing. I think there comes to a point where you need to cut it back and just like maybe 
I would keep like a top section and then like cut this all up and get rid of all the base. So that's probably what I'll end up doing for this is once it starts growing up, I'll probably end up like keeping this top section and starting over with a moss pole like this and then cutting this all up individually and like propping this and then putting them up on the shop. I'm really excited because I've always wanted a plant shop. Uh, I always want, I love propagating plants and growing plants and I just always want someone to be happy with like what they're receiving. Like if I can sell cuttings and plants for my own collection, grow them, put them up for people to purchase and receive a plant that they're happy with, like that in itself would make me happy because yeah, I just, I never want to, I don't want anyone to be unhappy with any of the plants they're receiving or they're questioning the growth, you know, because I've gotten plants before where I've been unhappy with it uh, and stuff. So I just don't want to be one of those plant sellers that just like sells something that maybe isn't ready or, uh, you know, is a cutting that has active growth and it doesn't. <laughs> uh, and like a lot of my monsteras and stuff, like, I'm rooting them first. I'm waiting for the growth point to happen because I'm, I don't want to sell someone a cutting and then it grow like all white. Like a couple of them have grown some white leaves. So stuff like that. I just, if someone wants to pay, if someone's paying for a plant and a cutting, I just want them to be happy with it. So I'm really excited about it. I honestly, I just, I keep envisioning in my head, like I've always wanted to do this more than anything. And I kind of wish I had started this sooner. I just was so focused on doing YouTube and I'm kind of at a point now where I am very happy with YouTube and I'm happy with the progress that my channel is doing. I cannot believe, I think I'm at like 35,000, which is crazy. I still remember setting up my camera and doing my first video. <laughs> I did not mean to get emotional. <laughs> Woo, <laughs> tone it in. <laughs> that came out of nowhere. But yeah, I just, it's crazy like looking back, thinking the progress that my channel has made. And I just, it's crazy because I never thought like I would be here and people would watch my videos. And yeah, I'm just very grateful for you guys. And just thank you for those that continue to like, watch my videos and, you know, say such nice things about my channel. And I just appreciate you guys. So thank you. <laughs> wow. That came out of nowhere. But yeah, thinking about the plant shop and everything, it's just, it's something I've always wanted to do. And I just feel like it's a next step for me to have like a little plant shop on the side. So I'm really excited about it. <laughs> so yeah, whenever it is up and running, I will definitely like let you guys know and yeah, I just, I look forward to that. I don't know what's going to come of it or if anyone would even buy any of my plants, <laughs> but I'm excited about it. I'm excited to see where it goes and I'm still going to do YouTube. Like I'm not saying like YouTube, I'm done with it. I'm still going to be making videos all the time and still I enjoy making videos and editing and filming. Uh, so yeah, it's just going to be. Maybe I just won't feel as pressured to like have three videos a week. Like if I do two videos one week or uh, stuff like that, I won't feel like overwhelmed in the sense that this is my only job. So I have to keep going with these videos. Um, you know, cause sometimes I do feel like I'm in a little rut sometimes where some weeks I like struggle thinking of content to do. Like, are people getting bored with my videos? Are they, Tuning away from my channel is like house plants even a thing anymore. Do people even still like plants? All these thoughts like go into my head and then I'm just like, I don't know. Sometimes I can overwhelm myself sometimes because I, I worry about like the future because I did take a risk in doing YouTube full time and just kind of putting it all out there and trying to do it. So yeah, I'm very happy with the progress and it's just crazy to think that I am where I'm at today because I used to watch 
YouTube videos, plant tubers, when I first got into plants and I never imagined me doing the same thing and having people watch my videos. It's a weird concept for me, I don't know. It's very strange, but I'm very appreciative of you guys, so thank you. And yeah, let's get back to moss poles because I went off on a little spiel. <laughs> Yeah, I was just, I've been thinking about that a lot and I just, I guess I felt like getting it out there. So yeah, whenever I have the shop up and I'm ready, I will let you guys know. It's just gonna be me. So I'm not gonna like overwhelm myself and have a ton of plants at once. Cause I gotta get in the, the feel of like packing, packing plants and shipping and seeing how it goes and all that. And then if it does well, I'll continue to like prop my own plants, grow my own plants and you know, once I feel like that's going well, then I'll branch out and maybe get some different plants in my collection to grow <laughs> and then sell. I'm never just gonna buy plants from somewhere and then just sell them. Uh, Cause I feel like, or like buying, buying plants wholesale, I don't feel like that's gonna be a shop for me. I feel like I want my shop to be plants that I've grown, that I've cared for, that they're doing well and then sell them, if that makes sense, so. I don't know, that's just my idea, my vision that I have for my little shop. Uh, so yes, back to moss poles. So yeah, this one is done. I am gonna get her watered and put back. The global green is basically the same thing. I just have to add like a quick extension on. So I think I'll do that one really quick off camera. And then um, we'll do the Escoletto next. I'm gonna make the large thickly pull up and get and just put that one on in the plant room. And then we'll move on to some wire stuff uh, after that and then we'll finish up this video. Okay, I'm back. I did not extend my global green even though it needs it because I don't like the way it's growing. I might end up chopping that one. So it's gonna overextend a little bit until I figure out what I wanna do with it. <laughs> So next up is the large grow pole I just made, flinging moss everywhere. Uh, it's a chonky, very chonky pole. So Escaletto is right back here. That's the one that we're going to extend. And yeah, I'm just gonna slide this on in its spot. Definitely overextended this one. Get your arse in there. See, I waited too late, I think, cause now it's like on the roots. I need to cut the plastic uh, so it can slide down over the roots that have grown cause I can't slide this pole down over it. I wish I didn't stuff this down in here all the way so I can lift this right up. Out of there. Look what I did to my pole. I bent it because it wouldn't slide under there. So I'm gonna cut in a couple spots so that I can slide this down over the root system. There. I just cut away. <laughs> a piece of this so that this is like open. Oh my gosh, I have moss everywhere now. Okay, take two. All right. That was a pain, but it's extended. So four layers of thickly. I know um, I have her up on a table, so maybe take a foot away. So that's probably five feet at least. I would say five feet. And it is so steady. I don't even have a stake. Look at this biggest leaf. Like, look at that. It is ginormous. Like, this is my hand. <laughs> I have another big chonker on the way here. Holy moly. So yeah, uh, she's kind of pressing up against the pole a little bit because that vine is getting thick. But yeah, I like hurt my finger trying to do that. So I would say I have maybe four more leaves and then 
I honestly could probably get away with adding another large grow pole uh, on top to make five, but the four is extremely steady. I honestly, I'm impressed. Just to save time, I'm not gonna film me making the wire. It's pretty like self-explanatory. This is a standard three feet. I get mine from Ace Hardware. You can buy the hardware cloth from Amazon. I don't think they have the three feet though, only the two feet. So if you can find the hardware cloth locally, that's three feet. But the squares, I don't know how big the squares are. They're not very big. And then I make the poles 15 of these around. So one thing of mesh can make, I think, seven wire poles that are three feet. So yeah, I got uh, a little bit of work ahead of me. Do you see him? Yes. Yes, I know. You're so cute. I do have a tutorial, uh, if you don't know, on how to make my wire poles. It goes step by step. It's pretty like easy to follow. If you want more details on how like to make these step by step, I will link the tutorial video down below and all the supplies I use, I'll link down below. But yeah, you just cut it to size, fill with moss and zip tie it. It's pretty easy to do. So that'll be linked down there. So I'm gonna make my poles up and then we will get to extending our Cebu Blue and our Campo. I think those are the only two that I really uh, want to extend. You are just so needy right now, yes. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. So Chai uh, likes to suck. <laughs> uh, he'll needle and then he'll like, um, just like suck on my arm or like t-shirt or something. Hi, I know. I feel like they were probably taken away from their mother too soon or something. I read that before that if cats exhibit that like sucking behavior, they're like, uh, they were taken away too soon, I think. I don't know if that's true, but. He said little baby. His sister doesn't do it though, just him. She needles a lot, but she doesn't do like the sucking thing like he does. Do you see him? And I don't like that noise either. <laughs> All right, buddies. You can cuddle a bit later, okay? <laughs> All right, I'll see you back in a little bit. I'm gonna make my poles real quick. A little bit of a change in plans. <laughs> so what I did is I have like one half of an extension. I was going to extend extend a full three feet on my campo over here, but I'm just gonna slide this half extension on because I think it's a plant that I don't really want to grow anymore. I don't know, it's hard to explain. It's not really a philodendron I'm in love with and I feel like I would probably wanna take it off a pole and maybe look at like getting rid of it in the future so I think instead of trying to have it climb up a huge three foot one, I would just add a small extension. That way it'll give me some more time to think about what I wanna do with it. I can always add another part onto this if I decide to keep it, uh, but I don't know. Um, I always liked the Campo Sport Tuanum, but the, the thing that I don't like about it is the internodal spacing is very long and the petioles are very long. And it's that those two, on a pole that it just doesn't look right. Um, I did chop it recently and added the top half into the bottom, um, but I'll show you. I did wait a little long to extend this one, so um, it's another one that has already started rooting into the no or to the top point here. And this one was growing on the inside, so I need to cut away some of this wire actually. And this will be okay enough that I don't have to add a uh, 
a wire or a stake to the back of it. So you can see the spacing between the nodes is very long and then the petioles are very long as well. So it just doesn't look ideal for a pole. I don't know. I mean, I love the leaf shape. It is very cool. The color and everything is beautiful on it. Um, cute little bunny ears. These are some bigger, more mature leaves that grew at the top of the pole before I chopped it. This one, and there's another big one. This one got huge. The more juvenile leaves kind of resemble a philodendron micans in a way. So if you ever buy one, um, it does get mistaken for micans sometimes in the more juvenile form. Uh, but yeah, I can tell them apart. Um, just after caring for them for so long, I can tell like the differences in them. So yeah, I don't know. It's not my favorite philodendron. I mean, yeah, the leaves are kind of cool, but I just don't like the way that it grows. I, I much rather love like the bushy look, you know, something like this where it's more bushy. Here's a new leaf coming in too. So yeah, I don't know what to do with this one, but yeah, I bought a little bit of time and then I accidentally broke that stupid leaf off here. Uh, so here's the leaf. It get, they get stuck all the time if you don't keep them hydrated. Is it focusing? There we go. So the, these leaves get stuck all the time and then I accidentally snapped it there. So I'll just stick this in water and prop this one. Uh, that leaf should unfurl. I'll just missed it. So now that one's going to like reshoot a new node. So now that one vine is going to grow ahead of the rest, um, but that's okay. And I need to water my poles. Look how dry that one is compared to a moist, wet moss pole. Uh, whoops. <laughs> I have a lot of watering to do. So we did the variegated. I didn't do the global green because I think I'm going to chop that one. We did Escaletto. And we just did our Campo. I'm not going to do Splendid or Glorious today either. Um, I'm going to do the golden next for a different video. So the only only other poll I'm going to do with you guys is the Cebu Blue. I got my other poll made. I literally have a trail of moss going from the dining area to my kitchen down this way to my plant room and all over my plant room now. <laughs> okay, we are going to quickly extend our Cebu Blue. Um, my tummy is talking and I'm getting very hungry now. It's been like an all day ordeal. So I'm gonna try and do this without moving her and then I'll just show you after. I'm literally just sliding sliding this over top so it's it's not super complicated. You just slide it and then zip tie it shut. So yeah, it's uh, I think it'll still be steady. I'm a little worried that it won't be, but we're gonna test the waters out with this one and if it's steady, then I'll think about adding a foot onto those two, but we'll see. Fingers crossed, Let's let's try this. Okay, this will buy me another few weeks before I go to chop this plant. Maybe a month. It will buy me a month because <laughs> I have not chopped my Cebu Blue yet, but I do want to because this plant is getting too tipsy, too tipsy-turvy with the big leaves up top and the small leaves on the bottom. All right, I need to zip tie this. Oh gosh. Massive Cebu, all extended. Look at those huge leaves. So I Velcroed the top growth out of the extension and the top of the pole is now there. So I have probably, I could probably do like four more leaves and then I'll have to end up chopping this plant. But yeah, getting very close to the light. I am definitely chopping out in Sonii. You guys saw the Escoletto that I extended. And yeah, these two, I need to think about what I want to do uh, if I want to try the foot extension on those. And then Sorderoy is down there in the front. And then the Enjoy Pearls and Jade is in the front. Lots more room to grow. And then I added moss in the Syngonium Albo. 
The silver sword is in here. I added the small onto that one. And over here I added, I didn't extend the manjula because we chopped it and I wanna see what it does. And then the only one that we extended over here was the heart leaf on the end. I didn't do the global green yet because I need to think about what I wanna do with that one. And then the only thing I really have to do is probably add some moss into those. Um, those aren't quite ready to be extended yet. And yeah, we did those ones out in the dining room and that should be it for a little while. And that one didn't need extended yet, nor that one. So yeah, this tied me over for a little while. I still have a lot of pull stuff to do, but this like helped a little bit. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, it's crazy how long moss pull stuff takes and how messy it gets. So yes, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching me extend a bunch of pulls. I didn't do that much watering. Um, I'm gonna do some watering after this video. Uh, but yeah, I did a lot of watering in um, a recent like late night plant chores watering video. So I will link that up here and down there. If you haven't seen it, I kind of talk more details about like watering poles. And again, all of my moss pole content is down there and look forward to me starting a golden pothos on a pole from like start to finish and take you through that process. Just like my uh, marble queen and get a golden growing just like that one. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about anything, let me know and I will talk to you guys later.